Hey, you know, there are, you know, people keep saying, well, eventually everybody's going to get COVID. And there are some people I know, they're, they're very healthy plant-based eaters now, but they are in their 70s and 80s, and they had comorbidities. They reversed them through a plant-based diet. And because they're older, they had the attitude, look, I'm going to live my life. And it's not that they didn't obey the law. You know, in other words, it's like they masked when they had to and things like that. But for the most part, they never turned down a social engagement. They are the most social two couples I've known, cruises, everything, and they've never gotten it. And then I, you know, of course they're vaccinated and boosted and stuff like that. But then I know other people that have avoided everything and still got it. Is it the luck of the draw? Because I read somewhere, and I don't know if this is true, that there will be a certain percentage of people that will not get it even when exposed, that there's some kind of genetic link to that. Is yeah. that true? Yeah, we actually covered that in a video, uh, why some people may never get um, uh, COVID-19. And it, and it may have to do with um, your genetics. So on your body are some marker on each one of your cells, and you inherit this from your mother and your father, are something called HLA uh, genes or um, HLA proteins. And these are very unique proteins. Um, and it's, it, in some cases, it can be a problem because if they try to find an organ transplant for you, they got to get it matched or HLA matched. So yeah, there, there are people uh, with completely different genetics. So what they did in the study was they looked at all of the people that had registered. You know, I've, I've done this too. Maybe you have too. When you go give blood, they say, hey, would you like us to put your blood into an account so that one day, if there's somebody that matches you perfectly, that needs, you know, a bone marrow transplant, we can ask you to donate bone marrow, which you can do that. You know, that doesn't kill you. You can do that. It's not like they're giving an organ. Isn't it um, very painful though? I heard It is painful. It is painful. Yeah. It's probably more painful for the donor than it is for the recipient actually. Right. Yeah. Uh, so you have to think, they, they tell you that you have to think about it. But anyway, I, I put it into the thing. I, I think I've gotten contacted once saying that there was, that there may be a match, but then they never uh, followed up. So I, I probably fell through, but nevertheless, there's a huge bank out there with a bunch of people's HLAs. And then what they did was they looked and asked, they sent them a questionnaire. And they asked them, have you ever had COVID? What were the symptoms? Blah, blah, blah. They said a bunch of stuff. And they just put it through the, the computer meat grinder and tried to sort it to see. And what they found was that there was a certain HLA, I think it was uh, HLA B uh, 15 point something or other. It's in my video. I can't remember the actual number, but they found that these, the people that had this HLA were, you know, if they had one copy of the gene from, let's say they got it from their mother they were like three to four times less likely to get COVID. And if they had both of these genes from the mother and the father, they were up to like 10 or even more times less likely to get COVID-19. So how is, how is this working? Uh, what happens when an antigen comes into your body, the virus antigen comes into your body, it gets put onto this HLA molecule. Okay, so the HLA molecule that's sitting on your T cells or your, or your um, pr presentation cells, the, the cells that present this thing, uh, the, the cells that uh, are infected. Um, when the cell gets infected, it takes the virus and it chops it up into little pieces and it takes these little pieces and it puts it on the surface of the cell and it says, hey, look, I'm infected, come and destroy me. Okay, it sounds like kind of like a suicide thing, but that's what your body has to do to preserve the whole situation. The cell has to declare that it's infected so that the immune system can come and destroy the cell. So that protein that it gets put on is this HLA gene product. So not only is it telling the immune system that you're a unique individual, but it's also the, the actual way that the cell is telling the immune system to come and kill me. Now, it seems as though that different variations in this protein can elicit better responses from the immune system. So that if you have this particular uh, kind of, of protein, the immune system is going to recognize it better and it's going to kill more efficiently. And it may be that people who have that gene, the virus is killed so quickly that they never actually get the symptoms. And so remember when we say, that they never got COVID, that's different than saying that they never got infected. COVID specifically means symptoms. So if somebody is infected with the virus, but they never have symptoms, they never had COVID.
specifically that is speaking. fascinating. Yeah. That is really, that is really, really, is there a way to test if you're one of these lucky people genetically? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you just test, uh, and again, I, I've got it. If you go back to my, if you go onto our MedCram uh, channel and you look at why some people may never get COVID, okay, not not why some people may not get infected, but why some people may never get COVID, which is the symptoms. I, I spell it all all in there, and I, and I specifically list the specific HLA gene product. So you can actually pay out of pocket and and go to Quest or to LabCorp and ask for this gene and they will tell you what your HLA uh gene products are and and there's a, there's there's an HLA A there's an HLA B there's an HLA C and there's two versions of it because you actually have two parents and they'll tell you what your HLA B is and then you'll see it there and if it's there then it's there if it's not then you know you're you've just been lucky 